omega-3 fatty acids. Well, we know omega-6 fatty acids come from vegetable oils. Where do omega-3 fatty acids come from? Fish and fish oils. But our consumption of fish and fish oils is declining for two reasons. Reason number one, fish is becoming much more expensive. We basically have you know, hunted fish to extinction. They have nowhere to go. And two, people are legitimately concerned about the toxins in fish, things we have thrown into the environment in the last two generations. Mercury, PCBs, dioxanes. These are incredibly toxic materials, and once they enter your body, they don't leave. So people are eating less fish, but they're eating more processed foods, they're consuming more vegetable oils because they're five times cheaper than olive oil. It's cheaper to import corn oil from America than to use olive oil here in Cyprus. And as a consequence, now on a worldwide basis, people are becoming more and more inflamed, and that's why you see the obesity, the type 2 diabetes, and the, the spiraling downward of the quality of health. Doctor, how um, an individual can recognize that omega-3 and fish oil, which uh, can be bought from any healthy food store, what is the difference? Can you explain? Well, the difference is that, uh, remember I said all those toxins are in fish, and when you express out the fish oil, all the toxins come with it. So when you go to a health food store and buy fish oil, what you're buying are encapsulated toxins. I said, well, that's not a good idea. So how do I know if the fish oil I'm looking at is good fish oil or bad fish oil? Well, there's two ways. The first way is called the toothpick test. Buy some fish oil. Break open a few capsules and put it into a shot glass. Put the shot glass into the freezer and come back five hours later with a toothpick. If you can't put the toothpick through the fish oil, means it's frozen solid, you've been taking the sewer of the sea. The second way to find out is basically bite into it. Bite into a capsule and say, ooh, it tastes terrible. Well, that usually says it's not very good fish oil. This says, how do you tell a good wine from a bad wine? You taste it. It turns out our taste buds are very sophisticated vehicles for tasting basically things we shouldn't be eating. So, uh, unfortunately, 99% of all the fish oils you find are the bad stuff. Because the good stuff uh, is very, very difficult to make. Because to make it, you have to remove all the toxins. But when you have that, it's almost like weapons-grade fish oil. Highly refined, ready for action, ready to basically turn down the fires of inflammation in your body and allow you to retake control of your genetic feature. Coming back to your sign and inflammation, any person can uh, detect himself you really can't detect it uh, any more than I can look at you and tell you what your cholesterol levels are. I won't have a clue. But if I take out a blood sample, I can tell you exactly. And likewise, if you have silent inflammation, you could be an Olympic athlete or you could be an overweight diabetic patient. You could both have it. How can you tell? The blood. The blood will tell you. But if you already have a chronic disease, you're obese, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, You've had silent inflammation for a long time. But you can reverse it. The power is, and this has been shown at Harvard Medical School, you can reverse it in 30 days. In 30 days? By following the zone diet. And say, That's great, but now you have to keep it under control for the rest of your life. Well, how do you do it? By following the zone diet. And if so if you don't want to get a chronic disease, then basically keeping silent inflammation under control should be your number one goal. If you already have a chronic disease, your best treatment is not a drug, but a diet. It doesn't say that drugs make the, di make, or the diet makes drugs worthless. It, the diet, especially the zone diet, makes drugs work better at lower concentrations, and that means less side effects. It sounds very promising. Well, it is, and, and... Gives us a hope. Well, that's a, a hope based on science. It's not a hope based on hope. It's a hope based on science. Say, yes, the science is pointing out these new breakthroughs in molecular biology are leading us to understand how intertwined our genes are with the food we eat. Say, I never knew that. Well, now we know. But if you, now you ignore this data, then what happens to you later in life is entirely your fault. 
sounds like a panacea for all the diseases, so we can restore our hormones and live healthy life. And that's why it's, I started the program 30 years ago, starting with myself, saying, I want to lead, lead a normal life. Yeah. I want to live a, basically a full lifespan. What can I do? And I said, if I'm successful, and I'm now basing you know, 13 years beyond where I should be living. So if I'm successful, then hopefully millions of others could also be successful in changing their future also. Doctor, what about cortisol in a good balance level? Well, you need some cortisol, but when you make too much, then basically bad things happen. Three bad things in particular. One, excess cortisol makes you fatter. Two, it makes you dumber. It destroys the uh, neurons in the hippocampus that keep all your memory. And three, it makes you sicker. Well, how do you make a lot of cortisol? Will you be under, if you're under stress, as people are saying that you're guaranteed to make more cortisol. Well, how do I fight that? Well, the best way to fight that is the zone diet. In fact, we've run experiments demonstrating that, you know, people under high stress situations, if they follow the zone diet, really have no adverse consequences of that stress. The stress hasn't changed. Their body's ability to handle the stress has changed, not by a drug, but by the diet. Doctor, can you tell us about depressive persons? Do you have any studies done? Well, there are a number of studies done uh, in depression, especially bipolar depression, the most difficult to treat. These were done at Harvard Medical School. When they used high-dose fish oil, the super weapons-grade fish oil, they had to stop the study after three months. It became unethical to continue it. The people on the fish were getting so much better compared to those getting so much worse. Studies have been done around the world saying for bipolar depression, unipolar depression, it's a miracle drug. But you have to take enough. And taking enough to treat uh, the neuroinflammation requires high levels, which means it better be pure, pretty pure stuff. But it goes beyond just depression. It's also true of multiple sclerosis. It's also true of Parkinson's. It's also true of Alzheimer's. And it's also true of the, another disease that's now becoming widespread in our children, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And we published a paper a few years ago showing taking children who are already on their optimal drug dosage, and then we gave them high levels of fish oil and put them on the zone diet, that within uh, 30 days, a dramatic improvement of their behavior. And the day they stopped, all the behavior deteriorated back to what it was before. Dr. Sears, can you tell us also, if we take omega-3, we enter to the zone diet, can it be like addiction once we stop it and then we feel that it's missing from us? Well, I will... Dependency I, on this omega-3? Well, we have to have a dependency. It's called an essential fatty acid. Essential means if we don't have it in our body, we don't perform very well. So uh, what you might call an addiction, a nutritionist would say an essentiality. If we don't have this, the body doesn't perform very well. So it's not say, uh, say but now, if you're taking the omega-3 fatty acids and then stop, say, I don't feel very good. And the reason why? Because they were essential to you. Uh, so that this is a very good marker to say that, yeah, I have to take these omega-3 fatty acids and the amount I need depends on how much I'm controlling the levels of insulin by the zone diet. So that's why the zone diet and the omega-3 fatty acids are linked together. The more you control insulin, the less...